JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trey Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brook Stone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. The hot, dry summer here in Rio Doso has finally given way to more seasonable conditions. About 2.30 this afternoon, the skies opened up and pelted the track with rain. Now that's going to mean an off track for the $900,000 Rainbow Derby, but it's nothing that most of the horses in this deep, talented and experienced field haven't seen before. Here's what happened as called by Robert Fox. They're running. Giorgino broke in at the start, bumped into Lano Teller, who got away fast. Far side, JLS, Mr. Big Time came away fast as well. Cold Cash, one, two, three, goes with them. Down at the rail, Bodacious Dash, trying to come on his first down master and DM streaking through fire. Cold Cash, one, two, three, DM streaking through fire. JLS, Mr. Big Time, Bodacious Dash at the rail. Three of them going to hit the line together. Far side, Cold Cash, one, two, three, at the rail, Bodacious Dash, and DM streaking through fire and a barn burner in the Rainbow Derby. The photo showed Cold Cash 123 just in front of Bodacious Dash with DM streaking through fire and nose back in third. Cold Cash 123 runs his 440 yard record to 5 for 5 and adds $449,000 to his account. Trainer Sleepy Gilbreth added to his own record with a seventh Rainbow Derby victory. Jockey Roy Baldiez picked up his second. He and Gilbreth previously teamed up to win with the Great Mare's significant speed 11 years ago. Roy Baldiez has just survived a very close photo to win the Rainbow Derby. Did you know you won it? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, those horses were there early in the race, and uh, and uh, uh, probably the last hundred yards, he started creeping up on them and, and got by them. Uh, I knew I'd got I knew I'd got him. We talked a lot about this horse about needing to break. He has a big finish. He had to get away. Did he get away today to suit you? He got away super. He got away real good. Uh, he stood up there like a gentleman and, and looked down the racetrack and uh, and left there running. He uh, he had to run a perfect race to, to beat them kind of horses. Well, he did run a perfect race. You have won this race before, but I imagine this is even a little sweeter. It is very sweet, very sweet. Cold Cash 123 lived up to his name as the 2-1 to Rainbow Derby favorite. He combined with third-choice Bodacious Dash for a generous $2 exact to pay off of $40.40. The running time over a sloppy track was 21.229. And we'll be right back with the full order of finish and more interviews right after this. This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual Quarter Horse Yearling Sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest Quarter Horse Yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Rainbow Derby winner Cold Cash 123 is a gelding by Oak Tree Special out of Hot Cash 123. He was bred by his owners, Walter and Carolyn Bay from Michigan, who race as the T Bill Stables. Well, it's not too often that we get quarter horse owners from Michigan coming to win a grade one in Ruidoso. That's true. Right. It was worth the trip. It was worth the trip. Oh, and I hope Michigan understands that we're proud of Michigan. <laughs> well, and it, hopefully this will be encouragement for somebody up there to buy a good horse. Huh? Right, exactly. <laughs> we we had ahead. talked last night about Cole Cash, about his ability, but his need to get away from the gate. Were you yeah. satisfied with what you saw yes, today? Yes, we were today. Oh. It was a little bit uh, uh, hard on the nerves, that uh, last uh, 50 yards, but uh, he got away real well and uh, that was the key. Roy Baldias told me he won it. He said he didn't have any doubt he won it. I said, well, you should have been down here. There were a lot of people who weren't too sure. For that, including us up there, including, I was just shaking. Actually, I was crying too. <laughs> this would be the biggest win for T-Bell Stables? Yes, it is. That's very yes. true. Now, you told me last night a little story about the one, two, three. Can you yes. capsulize that for me? Real short, you mean? Yes. Okay, one, two, three means I love you, and it comes from our family, my mom and dad. Uh, when they went to get married, the grandparents didn't care for my dad, so they got a code, one, two, three, and every place they went, 
they didn't dare speak or look at each other, but they could go like this, and it meant I love you. That passed down the generations to Walt and I and to our family and our grandchildren even sign off the phone, one, two, three, Grandma. <laughs> Very good. Now, your trainer is a man of few words, as we all know. Oh, I well, know. What, but what do you have to say about Sleepy Gilbert? Well, Sleepy's tops, and uh, he says a few words, but they all mean a lot. <laughs> And the actions. And the actions. And I said to him, thank you for taking a chance on us. Because I, he's a wonderful man and a wonderful wife. Yes. He has a wonderful wife, mm -hmm. yes. Well, I think he's been well rewarded with the T-Bell Stables and Cold Cash 123's victory in the Rainbow Derby. The five-horse Dominion broke through the gate prior to the start, but the only real trouble in the race itself was the eight Giorgino coming in to bump Lano Teller in the first jumps. Lano Teller still had a good position, but wasn't able to open up on the field as he likes to do. Bodacious Dash is right there on the rail along with DM streaking through fire in the middle, and Cold Cash 123 has stayed close from the start along with JLS Mr. Big Time. But in the late stages, the big strides of Cold Cash are too much as he wears them down. Here's the complete order of finish. Bodacious Dash picks up nearly $144,000, while DM Streaking Through Fire's lifetime total now stands at $293,000. Not bad for a $5,000 Ruidoso sale yearling. Ruidoso Derby winner Lano Teller finished seventh, and Giorgino was last after acting up in the paddock. So Sleepy Gilbert once again claims the Rainbow Derby, and with this victory, Cold Cash 123 figures to make a strong move up the ladder in the national AQHA poll. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.